A teacher compared two groups of students, group A and B, who used different study methods for an upcoming exam. The list show the scores earned by each student in the two groups. Here's my two data sets. Which statement correctly compares the median test score for group A and the one from group B? So with medians, uh, I feel like usually they give you the total number of uh, values here, but we can count it up pretty quickly. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we have 13 in group A. So we can do our little median trick. This is even more helpful when there's more numbers than this. So that is take your median when it's odd. So that's your, your middle number. There's 12 values left. So that's 6 to the left and 6 to the right. That's 13 total values. And finally, your median would be your seventh value. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We know that it's 89 in group A. It's a little bit more awkward when there's even numbers. Let's just double check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 9, 10, 11, 12. So there's 12 in group B. Of course, they make it a little bit more difficult. When there's an even amount, let's just go over to the right again here. So we have 12. You take your middle 2, and that's going to be 10 values left. That's 5 to the left and 5 to the right. So what that means is I want my 6th and my seventh value, and then you're going to have to find the average of those two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And we can just take the average of these. If I add up 85 plus 93, and then divide by two to get my average, I get the same thing. I get 89 for the median of group B. So finally, our answers are probably like one's bigger, one's smaller, maybe one's not enough info, and then they're equal. So in A, I see right off the bat, the median of A is equal to B. Just to double check, greater, less than, and there's not enough info. Yeah, so it's just going to be A here.